Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. Got a fun video for you this week. We're gonna be building a welding table with the plate behind me here with the uh, Miller Multimatic 200. Should be a fun build. Uh, I was at my uh, local steel yard. They had a six by six foot drop and uh, I got it for a good price. So we're gonna turn it into a welding table here. All right, so here is my kind of basic plan for this piece of three eighths. Um, it's like six by six foot. And um, my kind of basic plan here is just kind of use scraps. Um, the only thing I actually purchased for this was the top. Um, I would have rather gone with three, five eighths or three quarter, but I happened to get a really good price on this, so this is what I'm going to use. Um, I've just got some leftover two by quarter angle I'm going to use for the legs, and I'm going to make a shelf out of this piece of expanded metal um, about two feet over this way. Um, to where I can just set you know, scraps and cutoffs and things like that on there and then um, I'm leaving this other half open to where I can just sit at it with a stool and have my legs underneath it and just get comfortable. Um, I have a cutoff there of, uh, or just a leftover piece of inch C-channel that's going to be kind of the reinforcing. Since this is 3 8 there is some flex to it. If you, you know, If you stand on it you can kind of watch it flex a bit. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just run some angle as a uh, framework around it here just to kind of eliminate the flex. I'm not doing super precision work on this, so I'm not too worried about it. Mainly I just need something better than this. The framework here is all tacked up with MIG. All again, all this was running off the Miller Multimatic over there with just some 023 wires because that's what I had in it. Uh, again, quarter inch angle and just kind of scraps I had laying around, so which is kind of cool because the only thing on this I actually had to buy was the top. The rest of this is just left over from various jobs. And I'm gonna go ahead and weld this guy out with some just tractor supply 7014s. Here we go, let me zoom in on that guy so you can see. There you go, 7014 eighth inch. And uh, I've got the Multimatic here set. So you can see, there we go, we're uh, just on auto set here. Right there, auto set is on. Uh, we're set to 70. XX over there, eighth inch, and uh, running 115 amps. It looks like you can kind of adjust this a bit here, um, but it kind of gives you in the ballpark, as you can see, you know, that gives you the sort of target there, and you can adjust up and down. Oh, I think we're gonna go up. Because uh, these are all flat position, and they're gonna be a little hot, so I think we'll just go up to about 120.
I just burnt a fistful of 532s and it never overloaded. I'm just shocked. I uh, did most of it here with the, um, so if I can focus, the focus here, yeah, there we go. I did most of it with the 7024s and I had never run these before. They kind of seem like uh, a 6010, or kind of a cross between a 6010 and a 7024. It's kind of interesting. But uh, I just wanted the corners here to be good and strong. So I just grabbed a fistful of 532 7018s just because I really wanted to burn them in because this top weighs probably like three, 400 pounds. And um, what can I say? This little Miller Matic, now I'm running off T20 right now, but it never did overload. Like I kept expecting it to trip off about any time there, but it was just happily chugging along. I'm pretty impressed. All right, so my welding table's all finished up here. Um, it's actually been a few weeks since I finished this. I just, uh, business has picked up to the point where I was not able to finish the video off here. But uh, yeah, so it's six by six, and I really like the square. Um, if I was doing this again, I would probably make a bigger one because I've already had, um, a couple inquiries into building some stuff that's a little bit bigger than this. Uh, in the future, I would also probably do a <clears throat> half inch or five eighths thick top. In fact, I'm already kind of thinking about doing a uh, another one and uh, setting it against the wall over here out of uh, yeah half inch. So anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, we'll say I do really like how it's open there where you can sit and have your legs up underneath here when you're working. That's definitely, uh, definitely nice. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and stay tuned here. Once business slows down a bit, I'll get up more videos.